Hey everyone, Kevin Richards here. I um, just want to give you a really quick uh, little bit of education about why um, notes are referred to as low notes, middle notes, high notes. And that's basically, if we look at this uh, EQ here on this really, really old PA head, probably sometime in the 80s, um, you can see that there are numerical numbers to the frequencies on the EQ here. 50, 100, 400, 1000, uh, 500, 3K, 6000, 12000. And that is basically the number of times that the wave, that the frequency wave undulates, vibrates, whichever way you want to think about it. Uh, concert pitch A440 is obviously a little bit above this here. And that's 440 vibrations a second. So it's given a numerical number. 400 times, 200 to 500 cycles per second. So a low note, 100 times your vocal cords are opening and closing 100 times a second. When you sing an A above middle C, they're opening and closing 440 times a second, and so on. So this is why notes are considered low notes, high notes. It's basically how fast your vocal cords are opening and closing or vibrating. And that's based on the numerical number of the frequency that you're singing. So, but you really don't want to think about your, your notes as low, middle, or high. You want to think of them as just notes residing in a certain frequency. But in case you were wondering why notes are named low notes and high notes, this is why right here. And I'm going to do another video later on where I'm going to talk about what we can do uh, tonal-wise, what you do tonal-wise to change the tone of your voice. What do you do with your resonance? to create different tonalities in your voice. How do we tune or EQ our voice? Kind of thinking about this graft. So stay tuned for that.